Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set a character limit in a cell or multiple cells in Microsoft Excel. So let's say we have this uh, new user account form here where they have to put in first name, last name, pick a username, and then choose a password and we want to make sure it's at least eight characters, nothing less. And if, it, if they put in something less, we don't want them to be able to enter it in there. So to do that, we're going to go to the data tab. Well, first let's select the cell where, the, where they're going to type in the password. Data. And then under Data Tools, pick Data Validation. Uh, you'll, your icon should be a little bigger. I'm just recording at a lower resolution here. And now for the settings, we want to change the Allow to Text Length. And then this is what you're going to change depending on what you're doing. So in our case here, we're doing greater than because we want to have um, more than seven characters, so at least eight. So we could do greater than or equal to as well, and then put in eight. You know, either one will work. So we'll just do greater than, minimum being seven, not eight, because it has to be greater than seven. That's where it gets a little confusing. You would think the minimum would be eight. Then if you try and use it, it's not going to work because it's not going to be greater than eight. So just keep that in mind. It may take you a couple times to play around with it to, to get it right there. Okay, so we'll click OK to that. Then we'll type in seven characters. Now if we type in 8, it worked. So if you want a different message here besides this generic one here, we could change that too. So with the same cell selected there, go back to your uh, data validation. Now go to error alert, and you could change the icon that goes with it. Then you can put a title for the error. Let's just put error. And for the message, let's just put... like so. Okay, so now if we do it again, it tells them why they're getting the error rather than just giving them the error. So once again, just you know, choose your cell, data validation, change your settings accordingly to, depending on what you want to do. And like I said, you might have to do a little trial and error to make sure you read it correctly here. And uh, then you could change your alert if needed. And then you'll be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.